I got Dave. Dave's a supervisor, one of the supervisors here. So today looks like you're getting ready to set the bathrooms in. So it looks like you're blessing the fleet as you go here. You're fire caulking, you're taping on, on top. What else are we doing right now, right before they sneak this thing in on you? Well, that's correct. We are taping, we're fire taping the walls. So we're adding fire spray up on the top to make sure that we seal everything off. That way, if there's ever a problem with fire in the building, we know that it's not gonna penetrate from unit to unit. And uh, that's basically the extent of what we're gonna be doing in the bathrooms here. So that old way that I'd be on a ladder all day just got blown out the window. <laughs> That is, that's on a fire cock right there. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. It's a quick system. Saves a lot of time and effort. You can spray it right from the ground. That's awesome. Now everything's sealed up and ready to go. And that fire spray, if it ever does catch fire, will expand and seal up any air gaps. That way those smoke and flame won't penetrate out into the corridor. In a hotel build, we want to make sure everything happens fast. There's a lot of trades that are going to follow us up. Right. And the only way to get one of these built in a timely fashion is if we're functioning on all cylinders. I just, you just as you're talking, I catch this over your eye. This is, a little, this is a little overkill, no? This is a pretty strong wall you're building. Well, that's what the architect specified. And it does, this, this part here just locks the studs in at 16 on center. Mm -hmm. This actually does very little for the structure. This is a sound channel. Oh. So what happens when the sheetrock hangs on this, this pulls away. Yep. So the, sh the sound isn't transmitting through the studs into the next unit. So both sides are just one side all the way down? Uh, one side all the way down. Okay. I haven't, see I haven't seen that before, and that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. And we What's do the same thing in the corridors as well. Interior is insulated? Yes. So yeah. Yep. So yeah, so there's a sound bath that goes in there as well. Wow, unbelievable. So what are the, some of the challenges? It's snowing today, of course, but it's, it's March, so winter's starting to come on, right? Yeah, well, and, you know, <laughs> we, we do a lot of building in the winter, so we're accustomed to it, but it is a challenge. Uh, you were seeing yesterday with a lot of wind. Yeah. Um, last week was the same. We had a lot of wind, a lot of cold days. Right. The weather does factor in, but we try to make sure our manpower is well-equipped so that they don't have to... Uh, face those challenges without mm -hmm. the proper equipment. You know, we, we give them sweatshirts, gloves, hats, yeah. whatever they need to make sure that they're as comfortable as they can be. We all knew getting into the game that construction's not an easy business. Right, so. right. Yeah. I started off in the drywall business, so every time I see it, I get a little cringe going on. And that, you know, now I see, I see guys, it's, it, not much has changed, right? Metal studs, drywall, some of this, stuff has changed, but it hasn't gone too far in the past 40 years. You know, the one big thing that we see nowadays is uh, some big advances in, in our fasteners and our means of fastening. We have battery operated uh, oh, guns. nail guns and yeah. stuff that yeah. will dry fasteners right into concrete. Right. We have Everything's cordless these days, so everything happens a lot easier than it used to. Well, you get that right. There's not a hundred cords floating all over right. the place. So right, so now we're not tripping all over each other trying to get the job done. Are you guys desperately looking for people? The trades seem to be hounding throughout we the country are. We right actually now. have an active commercial campaign going right now, you do, uh, yeah. radio and television yeah. and internet, to make sure that we can try to find manpower because while we may get 100 applicants a, a month, right. probably only 25 of them are actually qualified to do what we do. Yeah, right. We get a lot of guys that were building houses and they come out in the commercial world and they yeah. see that, wow, your pace is a lot faster. You guys are looking to put together a whole hotel in the time I would build a house. Yeah. And so this is less than a year from tearing down trees to renting rooms. Right. So. Our build out's about nine months here to, to get the hotel completely finished. And that's pretty fast for the amount of units we have here. Jeff, what's hey, up? Hey, Brian, how you doing? How are you, buddy? Good, how you doing? I'm doing better now that you're here. Yeah. What's going on, brother? Most people say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you became the reason I'm never going to dig another post hole the rest of my life. So, I met you at a show. This is a fence post. Correct. Right? Is that what, you, is that what this is actually called? It's a helical pile. Helical pile. Yeah. I get the technical name for it. Yep. This... 
I don't get it. I get a couple of questions. First of all, building code. That's the first one. Meter exceeds every building code in the United States and Canada. So if I put a sauna tube in, not for a fence, but if I put a sauna tube in, do I go to the building department before or after? Basically, I fill out a boring log. I staple it to the building card. It gets submitted when you propose your project or if it's designed into the plan, it's already accepted. We, we uh, have great success with building inspectors and educating them as to the technology. Okay, so this thing spins around like a drill bit, like we, like we joked about. Yep. The important part is that I was looking at on, on your website, it also deals with lift. When they, when they had those hurricanes and, and Sandy and whatnot, sauna tubes were coming out of the ground with the deck. Exactly. Not happening with this. Not happening with this. Post Katrina, building code has changed. Yep. As you know, insurance companies drive building codes. Right, of course. Once they took that hit, they decided to de over-design things and design things to, to deal with uplift. When decks and things were pulled off of people's homes and yeah. sent missiles through. Right. Yeah, everywhere. They, they, so what this gives you not only is, is on this is our smallest pile, gives you, you uh, 5,000 pounds of, of bearing capacity yep. as well as 2,700 pounds of pullout. So almost 3,000 pounds of pull-up. You couldn't take this out if you wanted to. You couldn't take it out unless you <laughs> twisted it with a drive head. Unless you took this back out with that. Jeff, we got a million questions for you, but before I ask those million questions, this is my holy climb right here. Yep. I gotta be on your side. Okay. If I'm on this side, we're in a lot of trouble. I could be an inch on that side or 10 inches on that side, as long as it's on that side. Okay. Okay. I'll swing it over. I'll have you put the point where you want it. And uh, all we do is watch the level. I'm multitasking now. It's easier to lift it up to the hole. Yeah, it says you, you're in the machine. Sort of a professional. You ready yep. to go? Here you go. That's slow, huh? Yep. Okay. See it advancing? So far, we haven't hit anything as far as I can tell. You're blowing right through the roots. Is that what's crunching right there is the roots? Yep. I love it. Pull it back towards you a little. Let me go back a little. Yep. You're a little out of plumb. How's that? Still all right? Yeah, get it in, see? Now you can see a little bit of tension there? Yeah, yeah. So you're good, you're loaded. It's loaded, yeah. Now just push the back button, back it off. Yeah, yeah, just a little. Yep. Now run it backwards as you're picking up. So hot about that. You done? Hey, there's 10, right? Less than an hour. I'm never, ever digging another hole the rest of my life for a fence. Imagine for a sauna tube on a deck. In addition, we do a ton of solar work for solar fields. Anything that has to do with digging holes, I'm going back to yep. it, no Sounds matter good. what. Thanks for your help. So coming up next, we do a classic game review tool because you asked me to bring it back. I had a blast doing it and uh, might surprise you on this one. We use something that we just used right now. Hey, I'm Brian Gary, the American Builder. We played an old game called U-Tool, and everybody emails me to do it again. So, I gotta get a little tricky. This is the tool, and I will play U-Tool again. Let's go find some people at this architectural show and see if they can guess what this is. And no, it's not what you're thinking. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So, we play a game, we used to play it forever ago. Right on. Yeah. You tool the hardware store challenge. He knows the game. He actually loves the game. So if you know it because it's a booth near you, you gotta be cheating. But if you don't know it, I don't know it. You don't know it. I'm gonna guess it's one of the uh the anchors for a foundation, one of the permacast drilling at an angle. I love that he's wrong. That makes it even better. I, I, I love, I love that you missed it. You're close. Rough guess. It goes outside somewhere. In the winter, it, it goes outside somewhere. Shit, that's exactly what it is. Thanks. He got on a second guess, but I think he cheated us. It, you will never dig a sauna tube the rest of your life. Fence posts, sauna tubes that you have to dig down, whether it's eight inches or 10 inches and it's below the frost line, there's a machine that gets on this, drills it down. It's so much stronger than anything you can hand dig because a machine does it. Now, you've got that out of the way. You're right. 
It's one of the things it does. But can I? Is there? Any, can I play? Can I? Is this about to go? No, no, no. I want to just try to. I'm not that good at it, but it looks like you got all the easy ones out. Hold on. How about this one? I'm thinking. I should have just. I should have just nailed it. Shanger, it is. Yeah, flip. Is there some kids around to set this back up? <laughs> you tool the hardware store challenge. Okay, so. 2005, I play YouTube with her, Ship Lights. And what do you know? She's still in business and I'm still playing YouTube. What do you, what do you? <laughs> Strange, I haven't gone very far. So, you tool, the hardware store challenge? What's this tool? She's strong to remember that. Yeah, yeah. You use it to, like, four holes or something in the ground. I, I'm gonna give you close enough because you're on the show ten years ago. I'm gonna go. That's that's plenty. That's a good guess. It looks like a drill bit, right? Goes into a hole. So if I don't think you've ever dug a sauna, a sauna tube, have you? Well, you've done a lot of this. I, I never know. Maybe you have, right? I've been in a sauna. That's almost the same thing. It's pretty close. So you're fifty percent right. We're gonna call you the half winner. And ship lights, like, I don't know. Obviously, you stood the test of time. We'll see you in another 10 years. Exactly. Thanks for playing. Thanks. Good seeing you. All right, so I ran into Sean. Sean's actually in the business and builds beautiful homes. So I'm guessing we're not going to stump Sean. I'm guessing he might know what this tool is. Do you know what this is? Uh, that looks like a replacement for a sauna tool. Okay, so every show needs a winner. Just found our winner. It's not a drill bit. It's not a post. It, well, I guess it is a post. Comes in different sizes. Do you use them at all? Because we haven't used them yet. Painfully watching my guys dig sauna tubes, and I never use one of these. I'll tell you what, I'll never dig another sauna tube, even by machine, ever again. This goes in any any size whatsoever. Goes in, it passes all building codes plus some. It's stronger than a sauna tube, right? Comes in all different sizes for decks and foundations and fences and you name it. In to my ignorance, it's been around for a Ever. I just, wow. I just never knew it. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, well, there you go. So now we'll see some of these in your new projects. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Great. So thanks for playing. And we found the winner. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. So we're tearing down one of the oldest frat houses on the college. This, this is absolutely ready to go. It's falling apart. I do want to see if I can peel off those old Greek symbols and if there's anything else inside. But it's been here since the 60s. If this building could talk, it would have some classic stories. Let's just make sure it's safe and um, tear this thing to the ground. So it was a great place to party last weekend and come tomorrow night. It's a great parking lot to party in. Heading in. I want those, or at least one of them. It's my favorite part is being here early before everybody gets here, but I can't seem to get in. I don't know. Yeah. Shit. All right. Don't rip the coat. Don't rip the coat. How should I go? Let me know if you see the campus police. I'm in. Gotta get the crew in. Come on, guys. Come on. It'll be worth it. I'm getting them in. There's one. It's all in a day. Got one of the guys in. There. We're in. Old frat house. If this place could talk, how many people had sex in here? I mean, studied. I don't know why I said sex. Ah. Uh. At least it's quiet. Anyway. Why is it always gross? It's 
smells like dead people. This is the friggin' windows, doors. Oh man. Everything, even on the second floor, everything is locked, double locked, screwed shut. So if you did party here, you can't get out the windows. I'm sure there was some, some safety meetings. The kids are gonna fall out and hurt themselves. Let's lock them in. They'll never hurt themselves that way. Nice window. That's, I don't know. It doesn't look, I think, I think they're brass, but they look like they've been... Uh-oh. I just knocked off the gold. I don't know if it's going to be worth the time, the effort. Oh, good. I already broke it. So if they, if they were worth a fortune, They're not anymore. I don't have a ton of time, but it would have been neat. Now that I see this solid brass and worth a lot of money, I wish I took my time doing it. Just can't reach it. The guys are out back. Kip's not the patient person that I. <sighs> All right. Maybe the next time we get to tear down a, um, a 65 year old frat house, because we do these, oh yeah, we do these never. I screwed that one up. Okay, coming up next, we're gonna take this turn of the century frat house to the ground. It has done its job and it's over. We're back at home, so to speak. Now to start the house activity. Best part of the day. I got my buddy Lee. Stanley Demolition. Lee, as usual, some big home, one of the oldest frat houses up here in the school. Actually it is, yeah, it's probably uh, close to 75 years old, I guess. I don't know, it's pretty old, it's pretty big. A lot of people have been through these through these walls, but it's time to come down. Yeah, these could talk, you probably wouldn't have stories about school, would have stories oh, no. about anything but school. No. I see half the roof is stripped, so... Well, actually when they did the uh, survey for the asbestos, they found some roofing was hot, some yep. flooring window cocking, you know, so the, the usual. So they've come in, taking care of all the hazmat, light tubes, ballast, free on, everything. Yep. Now it's my turn. <laughs> all the utilities are off. Uh, we got the hose ready for dust. Yep. It's a beautiful morning and we're about to uh, crush this thing. So this becomes a parking lot in what, two days? No, it's actually, it'll take us probably uh, three or four days. There's a lot of wood here. There's probably 15 loads of wood. 1,500 yardas. And that wood's going to be recycled? All of it. Yep. Everything here gets recycled. The concrete gets crushed up and reused. Yep. Uh, all the wood gets, you know, sent over to Erico and they recycle everything. You get a mile of brick pavers. Save or no? Save. Yeah. Yeah. Save, recycle, same thing. Recycle, recycle. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Everything we can, we will. All the metals will be uh, picked out. Well, going to the metal yard. I see you get the fence all the way around so it's safe, yeah. secure, yeah. asbestos gone. Crap removed, TV set aside to get rid of those legally. I mean, you're good to go. I yeah. see you guys unloading out back. Yeah, we're going to start out in the back corner there. We are all fenced in, which is great, but the back corner, work our way to the front. People don't realize what we're doing until we're out there. Oh. Rather than starting at the street side and everybody standing there watching and complaining about dust and everything. So you're actually sneaking up on them. Yeah. They'll be walking by, you're going to school, loud, doing their thing, and you'll just be back there pounding the yeah, you, you could say it's kind of sneaking up, I guess. <laughs> awesome. But Let's no, it won't take long. Take us probably uh, four days total, and we'll be going on to the next one. But this is this is a good one. I do a lot of work for the university, and uh, this is probably one of the largest old frat houses they have. That's what that's what somebody told me walking by. This is yeah. the oldest. This is their this is their staple back in yeah. the day. So I'm gonna take a look quick inside. Not gonna hold you guys up and tear this thing to the ground. Knock yourself out. Thanks, brother. So it's, it's, uh, it's time. There's a million rooms, it stinks in here. Just gross. All the flooring's been removed because the glue has asbestos in it, not the actual tile, the glue that they use. So this whole section of the building has been 
stripped. I'm just looking for people, dead animals, whatever, making a lot of noise because in about two seconds, the excavator is going to rip right through. A-T-U. This was a party in place, you can tell. Hello! Get out! Hello! Last look. Excavator's fired up. So the basement, nice. Christmas lights. The, oh. <laughs> this is a, this is back in the day. Look at, they have a bar, an actual real bar built in. So in the early 60s, I gotta imagine, this bar top was used for a lot of things. Have a meeting right here. They built, it's like a nightclub. They built a nightclub in the basement of the frat house. That doesn't really go anymore. Time to take it down, Kip. Oh, very good to be back. Very good to be back. I'm back at home. Now to start the house at the best part of the day. All right, so that's it. We did U-Tool, one of my favorites, one of your favorites. We will never dig a sonic tube or a post hole or anything again without using that machine and his brand new idea. And uh, we did our favorite thing in building, or not building. We did demolition, and that makes me happy.